Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. We have a catching event to cover today. So as you can tell by the really, really cool art, it's going to be a Volcarona, maybe Larvesta themed catch event. Let's go ahead and jump into the details. So this catch event is going to be taking place on Sunday, the 13th of March, 2022 at 7 p.m. UTC, 4 p.m. BRT or 2 p.m. ET. It's going to be at Relic Castle in Unova. That's like the only place I'm pretty sure you can encounter Larvesta, but it wouldn't matter because for this event, for them to be a valid entry, they have to be caught at Relic Castle. You're going to have one hour to catch as many Larvesta, Cofferdrigus, and Crocorock. I always confuse those uh, as possible within that one hour. And they're going to have 10 minutes after that hour is up to submit your entry to a staff member via Whisper. We'll cover that more in depth later on. So, on to the scoring. The species bonuses of this event are going to be plus 8 for Larvesta. Huge bonus. Plus 8 is a big, big species bonus. Uh, and the neutral bonuses are, you know, no bonuses for Crocorock or Cofagrigus. The nature bonuses are going to be plus 5 for Modest and plus 3 for Timid. On to the basic and general rules. First through third place are sort of from highest to lowest. Fourth place is the lowest score, and you can only submit one entry. All of these rules kind of intertwine, and they basically tell you that, you know, you need to be aiming or thinking about aiming for either first through third or fourth place with your submission. You can't, you know, you can only submit one Pokemon, so you're either going to submit a really high score Pokemon or a really low score Pokemon, and deciding which one you kind of want to aim for and go for comes down to what was your highest catch and what was your lowest catch. If you need further help deciding what Pokemon to enter into a catch event, Hit up my Discord. Some people down there can help you during the event. Players can enter the event with only one account slash character. This obviously is important for balancing and, you know, eliminates multiboxing. All Pokemon must, must be caught with the event time and at the event location. Excuse me. Uh, this is always super important. The whole point of a catch event is to be caught within that hour. You know, to catch that's the whole point. That's the fun part, right? I'm trying to catch either the best or the worst possible Pokemon within one hour. All Pokemon must remain unchanged, untrained, and unevolved. I always recommend you leave all your Pokemon in the PC until the event is over. Label them and then submit them. Don't have them in your party in case something goes horribly wrong and you get some XP on them, get some EVs on them. Don't want that to happen. Evolved or unevolved forms of your list of Pokemon will not be accepted as valid entry. This is super important, especially in this example because of Crocrock and Cofagrigus. You cannot catch a Yamast and evolve it. Uh, into Cofagrigus to try to submit it. You cannot catch a Sandile and evolve it into Crocrock and try to submit it. It has to be caught in the wild in that form. That is super important. You must be the OT of the Pokemon, so if you're the one whispering that Pokemon to the, the staff member, you also have to be the OT. You must link your entry to any participating staff member via Whisper to submit it. The three staff members this, for this event are going to be Dez, Bruno, Seth, and Cosmuth. Thank you to those guys for hosting. In the event of a tie, the winner will be turned by earliest catch. This actually comes into play more often than you would think. People will tie their score, uh, and they'll get bumped up in placements because someone caught it faster. So make sure you always catch your Pokemon as fast as possible. Now on to the prizes. First place prize is going to be a non-shiny Volcarona, which is only fair. It's an extremely rare shiny. Wouldn't want to see that given away willy-nilly. Uh, but still a perfect Volcarona. Really, really cool competitive Pokemon. I love this Pokemon. Uh, you could go 6 times 31 if you want to be funny. But I think 5 times 31 is probably going to be the best just to eliminate any sort of foul play damage. You're not going to be physical on this thing. Um, unless you want to go like some insane meme choice band build. I, I don't know. Whatever you want to do, right? Uh, but I would go 5 times 31 with 0 attack is probably ideal. Uh, plus 1,000 reward points on top of that. Plus 500 reward points for second place. And then third and fourth place will both get 250 reward points respectively. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Like the video if it was. Subscribe to stay up to date on future Pokemon catching events, guides, information, PvP, and all that sort. Check out all the playlist links down below. If you want to see more Pokemon content, there's a ton on my channel. Go check it out. Join my Discord to ask questions about future catch events and just the game and just learn. It's a great way to learn, dude. Join my Discord and just see people ask questions. Fantastic way to learn. And then finally, if you want to go above and beyond becoming a YouTube member to me for five bucks a month, um, I actually just dropped a Patreon, so that's a huge deal. I now have a Patreon, which I know a lot of people were asking for. That's there. You can get some cool rewards on there for you know, you can you can donate to me and also get like some you know payment back, some content back. Some there's teasers for upcoming videos on there. I believe you can vote for future video content, what, what you want to see come out, um, as well as like Pokemon to see my competitive showcases, uh, as well as if you want to go crazy. And drop a hundred bucks so you can control me for one hour. So go ahead and check my Patreon. Uh, other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Hopefully I'll see you guys at the Larvesta catch event.